next year. The Ecofilm Festival is back and it's growing nationwide. The festival aims at raising awareness about pressing environmental issues the planet is faced with through a documented film. Now, not only that, but also to appeal to ordinary citizens uh, on this issue. We are joined by uh, Erica, who's coming to us all the way from our Cape Town studio. Very good morning to you, Erica. Lovely that you're able to join us this morning to chat to us. What is the Eco, uh, uh, Eco Film Festival? Hi there. Um, it's a festival, it's an annual festival, and we bring basically the, the most engaging and intriguing environmental films that we find from around the world and bring them to show them in South Africa. And then we also have a fair amount of local content as well. And it, it's films that are looking at sort of human and environment interaction. Now, what gave birth to this idea and how has it taken off in South Africa? Um, it's a, the kind of brainchild of an NGO called While You Were Sleeping, who are trying to bring important documentaries to South Africa that might not make the mainstream cinemas. And I think globally we're facing a lot of challenges that are becoming very real, like we're experiencing a drought at the moment or climate change. And we like to offer a platform to show films that discuss these topics. And how and have our... Yeah. Sorry, Erica. How have our South African audiences really responded to the film? And are you th uh, do you think that people are actually becoming more aware of how much the, the environment actually affects us personally on a day-to-day -day basis? Yes, absolutely. And I think probably it's got a lot to do with film, being able to take people where they might not go themselves. We've had an amazing response. Obviously, we'd love everyone to come join us and give us even more response. But there's a real sense of curiosity and also a kind of personal find people walk out of films and go, I think I'm going to behave slightly different or do this slightly differently, which for us as the festival producers is very exciting. I love the fact that you say curiosity. Are there any children that are involved in this? Because I know children are generally very curious and uh, you know, yes. with issues around the environment, when we teach them young, they grow up with the, the right mindset as to how to uh, uh, treat the environment well. It's true. We were so excited this year. Um, we had a Jan van Riebeek primary school attend the festival last year. And they went away and they were so inspired, they went and created their own short film. So for our opening screening, we actually screened a school film and it's brilliant. And they've, as part of it, they've become part of the Rethink the Bag campaign and are reaching out to other schools. So we'd love to challenge any other schools if they'd like to do the same thing and maybe be screened in the festival next year, please do. And yeah, it's been really exciting. <laughs> so what can attendees expect during the three day uh, uh, event? What are the topics that will be thrown out there in the discussion and how is the entire event actually structured? Sure. Um, the main body is in Cape Town at the Labia Theatre and there are four different screenings each day um, starting at 12 o'clock. And each film, there's a main film, which is an international film, and we'll show a local short beforehand that reflect the themes, just so how it affects us living here. After each film, there's a Q&A. Um, what's quite fun is we're showing a film called The Revenge of the Electric Car, which is about 100% electric vehicles. And after the film, audiences are welcome to come and look at some vehicles that we have, just to experience them themselves. There's also a couple of activations happening. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, um, go ahead, go ahead, Erica. <laughs> For example, there's, we've got a, a creation station in the foyer where people can come and there's off cuts from eyewear and they can make their own key ring just as a little link to upcycling and maybe don't throw away things but create things out of what you throw away. Is there a way to measure the success of this event? How do you determine um, if it's actually had the impact that you, you desired? It's, it's a little cheesy answer. We can measure ticket numbers, we can measure exposure or feedback, um, and of course we do. But it's one of those where if even one person comes out and says, you know, I'm thinking about something really differently. Um, for example, we've got a, a film called Racing Extinction. It's very inspiring. It goes around the world, and it's got a hashtag, start with one thing. So if one person comes out of the festival and says, I'm going to plant a tree, uh, for us, it's success. success. <laughs>
Erica, thank you so much for your time for chatting to us this morning, right here on Morning Live. Now, Erica is a part of the team that organizes the South African Eco Film Festival. Now, this year's leg of the film uh, gathering uh, kicked off yesterday and will conclude tomorrow in Cape Town. Now, before moving to Johannesburg, please go out and support this event. You can go to www.saecofilmsfestival.com for more information on the festival, its films and participants. Time for us to take a very quick break. When we do come back, loads more of excitement and an in-studio performance you don't want to miss out. SABC News. We report, contextualize, and present news and current affairs honestly, fairly, and fully. We consider it a duty to provide consistent, relevant, useful, and top quality information and analysis. Our mission is to provide credible, accurate, and interesting news programming, bringing news into everyone's homes in everyone's languages. Thank you, South Africa, for relying on SABC News for quality news output and for making us your number one source of information. SABC News, Africa's news leader. Technology isn't all scary. There's also fun stuff like gaming. Lots of women do play games, whether it's on their phones or their tablets. Then there are Africans who are using new tools to make other people's lives much easier. We typed the whole CV on a small QWERTY Nokia phone. For all these and other technology and social media news, join me, Spumelele Zondi, every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central African Time on SABC News. As stories are broken around the world, SABC makes sure you do not miss out. As the stories unfold throughout the day, News at 8 updates all newsworthy stories worldwide. Globally, we are there. Locally, we leave no...